My name is Eiji. I'm an average guy and known as the most introverted employee in the company that I worked. At work, there's always a girl named Shizuka that's making fun of me. Her style is flashy, and she's an arrogant woman from a wealthy family. Eiji, you're so gloomy and look hideous again today. Pathetic. Yeah, seriously, what's with that face? That's so funny. Yeah, <sighs> what's the big deal? Just because she's the daughter of a big company president, she acts all high and mighty suddenly. No matter what, you're just an ordinary employee here like me. I was thinking that in my head, but I couldn't say it out loud to her. However, one day, something unbelievable happened in our company. Uh, what's this? Why do you all have numbers above your heads? Huh? Even you, Shizuka? Yeah, what's going on? Hmm, looks like these numbers appeared above the heads of everyone in the company, regardless of gender. And they would disappear when we leave the company, and people unrelated to the company couldn't see them. It was truly a strange thing. Why do everyone's numbers look so different? After a long day of thinking and pondering, we finally got a clear reason of that number one day. Hmm, hey, yesterday was payday, right? And I think that time everyone's numbers increased at the same time, right? Isn't this number the amount of money everyone has? I really? Makes sense. My number increased by the amount that was deposited too. Oh, you're right, me too. Wait, does that mean... Hey, Shizuka, you were almost at zero before payday, right? And now it's almost the amount of our salaries. That means, Shizuka, you... Could it be you're that poor? Uh, well, it's not like that. That's right. Her number was almost zero last time. And the day after payday, it suddenly increased with a salary amount. Also, hey, AG, why is your number so big? Well... I do have a habit of saving a lot of money. So the current amount above our heads really represents the money we have, right? That's so embarrassing to know. <laughs> I'm not wrong, am I? After that, rumors spread within the company. It turned out that Shizuka's family business had failed before, and they were on the verge of bankruptcy. Due to this, financial support stopped, and she became poor. As another month passed, Shizuka's numbers obviously went down a lot. Um, Shizuka-san... Is it because you spend too much money every day? You're so nosy! It can't be helped that the cosmetics cost me a lot of money, right? You wouldn't understand this because you're a man and all. Huh? What's that? We too have various essential things to spend too, like cleaners and so on. This is why I can't stand people who are greedy and dumb about adult life. Turns out she's just showing off by using expensive cosmetics, right? What a dirty girl. And Shizuka became more and more isolated from the group. One day during lunch break at the nearest park beside our company, I saw a familiar girl. Huh? Isn't that... That's Shizuka, right? Is she hungry? Hmm. Her number was less than a thousand yen. There were still three days until payday. Is she going to be okay? Hmm. Uh, um, hey. Shizuka-san. Huh? Eiji? Yeah? What do you want? Well, um, would you like to eat this? Eh? It's bread and pudding that I bought nearby. What's this? Do you think I need a donation? It's not like that. I just bought too much and I can't finish it. So if you want... <sighs> um, fine. Thanks for the meal. Yeah, you're welcome. Why are you helping me? After all the mean things I've said to you? Well, I didn't intend to help in the beginning. I just bought too much. But still, no matter who you are, I can't just ignore someone who's feeling down like this. This is probably going to sound annoying to you, but I think it's better for you to live your life that suits with you rather than trying to be someone else. And I hope you can adapt quickly. If you have any problems and need help, feel free to talk to me. The next day in our company, we all saw something shocking. Well, time to start work today. Good morning. Huh? Oh, good morning. No one usually greets me like this. Uh... Huh? Are you the new employee here? Why are you staring like that? Do I really look that strange? Uh... What? Could it be... Shizuka-san? That's right, is that a problem? Surprisingly, Shizuka, who always dressed gorgeously, now had a natural look which is truly refreshing to see. And two days later, on a payday, she came specifically to return the money for the bread and pudding that I shared with her. Thank you very much. I really appreciated your help last time. Uh, um, yeah. Shizuka, are you okay like this? Because it's not the usual you. Well, yeah, it's the opposite, actually. I just decided to stop pretending. 
And Shizuka walked around the office and apologized to everyone for her past attitude last time. Her arrogant behavior completely disappeared. With that change, she suddenly became popular among superiors and male employees. Shizuka, you've really changed for the better. I miss the old days talking with you. Uh, please don't bring that up anymore. Because <laughs> of that, Shizuka also became the person that uplifted everyone's morale. And she was adored by everyone. Moreover, she also started asking me about savings and how to manage it properly. How do you live like that? Well, it's my way of doing things. Hmm. Then, her life gradually improved. The number above her head began to increase little by little. Hey, Shizuka has become more and more cute lately, huh? She was always beautiful. Now she's like the number one employee I want as a wife. Phew. But I'm happy for Shizuka, though. No one making fun of her anymore. But then, another incident happened again. This time, it was a bad one. Finally, lunch break. What should I eat? Huh? This warehouse is in use right now? What are they doing there? Aren't you getting a bit too full of yourself again lately? Seems like you've managed to save a bit, but your amount is still considered low. Do you know that? We haven't forgotten how nasty you were before, and about lying that your family is wealthy. Yeah, it hurt, you know. This is completely ridiculous. They were the ones that joined Shizuka willingly that time. I'm truly sorry. I was really messed up back then. It's my fault for manipulating everyone. Just an apology won't cut it. After what you did to us, can't you do something for everyone? Since your savings have increased, show us some sincerity. Like a genuine gift. What should I do? Even if I try to help? No, I can't just leave her alone. Wait a minute. Huh? AG? What do you want? If we're talking about showing sincerity, I also have the right to receive compensation from Shizuka-san for all the trouble she caused me. Well... Huh? What's with this guy? So creepy. <laughs> but well, he does have a point, doesn't he? That's true. Since I suffered the most, I should be the first to receive compensation, right? Sure, sure. Do as you like. Hmm. I wonder what I should ask you for. AG. Even you too? Uh, of course. At the very least, you need to do something about our feelings. So next time, you must treat me a pudding. Eh? Didn't you hear that? I said treat us to a convenience store pudding. Since I'm the biggest victim here, you must compensate me no matter what, right? Wh what You're kidding! Stop messing around! So in the end, looks like you're going to defend Shizuka, huh? What a typical man. You know what they say, if you act all cute, men will easily yield. Uh, uh, well, let's calm down. <sighs> anyway, Shizuka, about what you said to us. Huh? Huh? Eh? Shizuka? What's with that number above your head? Huh? What? It was normal just a moment ago. How did it increase so much? Shizuka-san? What's going on? I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. Huh? Oh, a phone call. Hello? Yes. Yes. What? You managed to revive the company? Yes, yes. Oh my. I understand. It seems that way, AG. The company that I manage is back. Really? Congratulations. Yeah. Sh Shizuka, we just remembered we have something to do. Yeah, forget all that. We were just messing around, you know? Because of free time? Let's not get back at her, okay? AJ, you can have all the pudding. Uh, pathetic. Well, it can't be helped. It's my own fault, after all. For some reason, Shizuka looked very sad after saying that. The number above her head disappeared completely after this incident. Quite a mysterious thing in our company's history. And a few days later, Shizuka decided to leave the company. She was called by her father, who had experienced the crisis and revival, to join back her family company. After saying goodbye to everyone, she suddenly called me. Huh? <laughs> you want to recruit me? Uh, yeah. My father is always looking for talent. This time, especially for someone who's really honest. So I recommended you. You're okay with it, right? But it's a big company, right? Can I handle it? Well, the salary is about this much. But the work is very strict, so be prepared. Eh? Th that's... Uh, pathetic. Well, if you have something you don't understand, I'll teach you. Well, I guess... 
Work hard to earn my approval as well, since I'm thinking of making you my future husband. Huh? What did you say? N nothing And so, I decided to change jobs following Shizuka. This was a story of a time when I didn't even thinking of marrying the girl that bullied me in workplace. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video.